If you like fish, listen to this before your next order. A new report says many fish providers are playing a shell game with suppliers. CBS News contributor Katie Lee is here with this story for us this morning. Katie, good morning. Good morning, Chris. It's called fish fraud. The nonprofit group Oceana says nearly one in three fish we eat is mislabeled. That means when you go to your favorite restaurant, grocery store, or seafood market, your fish might be something else altogether. Lovers of food with scales and shells, beware. Because there's something fishy going on with America's seafood. One in three fish are not what they say they are, and that's fraud. With a head and a tail, you know what you're buying. You know the smaller one, you know the smaller one? But fish fillets are tougher to tell. Fish are often replaced with similar, cheaper species. Advocacy group Oceana's report says cod is sometimes oil fish, wild salmon, could be straight from the farm. And red snapper is something different, like tilapia, more than 70% of the time. I'd be very upset. I feel like I've been cheated. So I understand a lot of the seafood that we eat is imported. How much of that is actually inspected? 80% of the fish that we eat is brought in from overseas. And only 2% of that is inspected by the Food and Drug Administration. Much of that imported fish arrives already processed, filleted, and frozen. So companies like U.S. Food Service, one of the largest seafood buyers in the country, has taken extreme measures. They would take a sample of the product and send it to the laboratory to be tested. They send samples of their seafood to a lab in Florida. It's like the CSI of the seafood industry where it's DNA tested and the type of fish is confirmed. Why is it so important to do the seafood testing? We want to make sure that they are getting what they pay for uh, all the way through and that they're getting a uh, properly labeled product. For those of us who aren't scientists, there are some things we can do. Whole fish, is this the best way to know you're getting what you pay for? It is. Ideally, you can look at the fish and see that this is clearly a red snapper. So I should just take this and ask my fishmonger to cut it up for dinner for That'd me? That'd be great. And then right in front of your eyes, and you're getting what you pay for. But for fish fans, it's not a perfect solution. It's a catch-22. You're going to pay more for a filet, or you're going to pay more for a fish to, to see what it is and not eat all of it anyway. Very hard to believe, though, that 70% of red snapper is really tilapia if you don't actually just go and see the fish yourself like you did there. Um, this is not only just fraudulent on so many different levels, but it, this could also pose a bit of a, a health, a serious health risk. That's right. Some. It's not just about your wallet. Imagine if you're allergic to a certain type of seafood and it ends up on your plate. You have to be sure that you're getting what is advertised. So I guess the best thing you can do is just kind of go on your own and, like you did, just have to pick out the fish yourself. Exactly. If you're really concerned And about ask it. questions. Yeah. Okay. Katie Lee, thank you. Good to see you.